super excited. Now, the last guy we're going to talk about is uh, Zachary Richache. I don't know. I, they all talk, y'all taught me how to pronounce it right in the comments. I'm just blanking on it right now. But thank you guys for doing that, for helping me try to pronounce his name. But I'm just going to call him Zach. <laughs> Zach, the French connection between Wimby is 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 something that's interesting. Um, he's he's a runway type player. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of comparing him to a mixture of Cam Johnson from Brooklyn, who used to be on Phoenix, and with a Keegan Murray in 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 Sacramento. Kind of a blend between those two guys because um, he has a lot to him, and and I feel like Zachary is he has that runway to get better. I feel like over the next seven years, and not that he's not good now, but he's just so skilled like he has such a high ceiling in multiple areas offensively his game is pretty developed it's it's pretty diverse um maybe a boris dl like a taller athletic boris dl is, an, is another way to put it with a better shot um but his like his athletic potential it, it, there seems to be something there athletically i i think like he's still skinny still kind of lanky but he has this athletic ability not just to run sprint chain shots uh attack the rim on offensively there's something to his athleticism that i feel like could also grow over the next two or three years. Um, so, you know, he's a guy who has a thin build, but he has a bounce to him, a strength to him to get to the rim, to finish at the rim through contact. You know, so those are all good signs. You know, he's, he seems also to be able to shoot the ball with confidence. Um, they did run a lot of sets for him. Get open on uh, the perimeter and the sets to get him going to the rim. So I really like his patience uh, on the catch. You know, he feel he has a great feel for for decision making and, and he doesn't rush things. He likes to, to see what's happening in front of him and then attacks it. So that's that's high IQ type stuff. And and this is a type of player I feel like the Spurs, they can mold into whatever they want in at, at his six nine frame. You know, he he's another guy like Cody Williams, who I feel like can can come in here and according to Tankathon, you know, he's the number one ranked small forward. Cody Williams is at five. Um you know, but those are the two guys that I really like. If the Spurs are going to try to get longer and more athletic, um, he has a higher IQ. You know, he'll have a French connection with Wimby, which is always great. They'll play a lot together on the Spurs for their national team and and all that. Um, so there's there's that to factor in as well. But um, high IQ, length, versatility. I, I can see him being a real three and D type player, kind of like those those guys from uh, from uh, from. Uh, New Orleans, right? Like you got the the Trey, Trey Troy Murphy or Trey Murphy, and then you have a uh, you have the other guy too. I'm I'm blanking on their names, but you have you have those two really long uh, forwards that are that are really athletic and um, can shoot the ball. Just three and D type players. I mean, you need those guys. You need those long athletic guys. So this is my big board, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, do you guys see um, see it the way I do? Uh, do you guys see this big board? the same in terms of like fit you know do you feel like these players can the players that are in the red or in the yellow do you feel like they can come into the spurs organization and and impact them and, and be a part of their long-term plans or are you with me kind of like those top five guys are the ones that we need to keep our eyes on 